But yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more Fallout 4 on Survival Beta Mode, the new hardcore difficulty setting. And I am here at the Park Street Station, and this is a mega, mega business run coming up, okay? Uh, number one, I want to put on my new business suit, Reginald's suit, which we got as a reward for rescuing Rex Goodman in the previous video at the Trinity Terror. So that's our new business suit, black rim glasses, newsboy cap, Reginald suit, which will bump up our charisma by five, and our charisma is already at three naturally all right we have three points in charisma there you go all right and we already have lone wanderer one we have to get up to level 17 to get lone wanderer two that's coming up next we definitely want that um yeah so uh business 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 uh there is a lot of valuable junk on another thing i want to do sorry to interrupt here yeah, I'm tired, so I'm going to take a Nuka Cola. There we go. Let's check our stat. We have some adrenaline happening. We're over encumbered, but we're not tired anymore because we're caffeinated. Yeah. All right. Uh, over encumbered. Let's fix that right now. Get into our power armor. There is a ton of valuable junk in this Park Street station on this floor. Now is the perfect time to pick it up because we're going into town. We're going to be doing some modding, right? But we don't have enough carry weight to do this. Not to mention we are also coming back to the Park Street station later on. So we can safely drop some weapons here. Let's say, um, actually we're going to bring those. Let's organize by weight. There we go. Minigun for sure. That weighs, whoops. Drop that. Drop the rifles. And that should lighten us up enough. Okay. So all that stuff is there. We'll come back and get a few key items before we go into town. Next. Like I said, there is a lot of valuable junk in here. The thing is, this place is just a mess. It's a total mess. And a lot of the valuable junk you can barely see. It's like hidden amidst all the debris and whatever. Um, basically the directive is grab everything and then we'll sort out what we don't need after you grab everything okay now I'm not gonna show this because like I said it's gonna get really tedious watching me look around for say this coffee cup see how perfectly camouflaged that coffee cup is in the background so I'm gonna have to spend the next 10 or 15 minutes looking all around this level don't go down don't go down the, don't go down the escalator just this level for everything pick up all the junk and then we'll sort out what we don't need afterwards a few key things here i know you guys like to see everything some of you guys like to see everything but i just don't see any point in showing all this tedious looting because um you know it's like i said it's going to be tedious don't forget the stuff in here don't forget to unlock this door here and go in there and get some adhesive um there's bottles and tin cans all over the floor look carefully uh there's something else here a couple of nuka cola bottles here a whole bunch of beers in this box here you can jump up on that get a look at them all right and finally in this bathroom here don't forget to disable this bomb here before you go in all right so that's that I'm gonna get out of my power armor run around collect everything and I'll see you on the flip side one more thing Enemies may respawn here for some reason. I don't know why that is, but they may respawn here, so be ready for that. <laughs> As he gets out of his power armor. No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna go a lot faster if I get out of my power armor. Alright, so Shields up Scotty. Let's go looting. Okay, I'm back. I doubt I got absolutely everything, but I got as much as I could. Let's go over to junk, and I'm slightly overloaded. Um, now, go over to your junk, press the button for component view, whatever that is for you. For me, for me, it's C. Usually, it's the back button, okay? And we're going to tag some key components, okay? They are adhesive, aluminum. That's assuming you have any of these components. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ceramic, circuitry. Fiber optics, you probably didn't pick up any fiber optics, we're going to get that in town. Uh, lead, 
didn't get any lead either, and steel. Okay, with all those components tagged, go back to junk view, and we're going to drop everything that doesn't have a good value to weight ratio that isn't tagged and isn't a bottle or a can, all right? So, for example, this can go out. That's a bottle. That has a good value to weight ratio. That's a bottle. Don't need that. That's a terrible value to weight ratio. Uh, normally, your cameras would be really good, but uh, we don't need this. We don't need crystal. And we don't need gear or spring. Gears or spring. So that goes out to so keep that, keep that, etc., etc. All right. Here we go. That lightened the load considerably. Let's see what our status is. I'm tired, I'm parched, and I'm still under the effects of Psycho Buff. Wait. You hear that? No. Yeah, I know. It's like guys respawn here or something, or they're over in the next room and they can hear me rum rummaging around. Anyways, um. Let's see our carry weight. Our carry weight is 262 out of 90. That's not quite enough to carry on the minigun unless we drink a beer. You could do that and then run to town with the minigun. Here we go. That bumped up a carry weight. Minigun board on board. Leave all the rest of the stuff and we are out of here. You know what else we could do? Just in case something bad happens. <laughs> Let's just save the game. And I should have drank the beer after I saved the game. That was a waste of beer. My bad. How about another Nuka Cola because we're tired? Yeah, let's have one of those too. Okay, we're good. <laughs> a beer and a cola. Alright, let's go to town. Okay, it's probably still dark. We're gonna push north by northeast. Shields up, Scotty. We want to gun down a couple of things on the way for the XP. One of the goals is to get up to level 17. There's a super mutant up ahead here. There he is. Alright, let's play. Stop hiding. There we go. I'm not gonna bother looting him. And let's run around the corner here to good neighbor. Voila. Alright, now as soon as you get into good neighbor, this always happens. This guy tries to extort you out of some money. Let's check our stats, make sure that our charisma is high enough to beat this uh, speech challenge here. Nine, that should be high enough. Neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Well, well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? All right, now the mayor is going to come and talk to him. <laughs> Operative word, talk. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love. Then I said, let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there. But a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. <laughs> Pun intended, eh? Point? Oh, I get it. It's not every day I get mugged and then witness a murder right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough, but we won't judge you for that. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> Brother. 
<laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. All right, so take notes, people. The mayor loves a smart ass. Let's park our power armor beside the power armor station. First thing on the agenda is to go make some great mentats. And to make some great mentats, we're going to need some whiskey. And something just wore off. Um... Cycle buff's still happening. The beards just wore off. You know what we should do? Let's just drop a minigun right here. We're going to come back here anyways and sell it to Cleo. We don't need to carry this heavy minigun around with us all the time. While we're getting our shit together. So out you go. There we go. That'll lighten the load. Let's go to the third rail and buy some whiskey so we can make some great mentats. Here's the third rail. Inside the fir third rail, first thing you should Hancock do is go newcomers are welcome in the third rail. to the men's bathroom. Check this stall here and pick yourself nice. up a Live and Love magazine. If you're traveling with a companion, this will give you uh, plus five damage resistance and energy resistance. Or rather, your, camp your companion will get that, alright? Next, let's go downstairs and buy some whiskey. After we pick up Oh no, we have to steal that. We're gonna okay. Don't steal anything. Even if you think you can get away with it, don't steal anything. I just blew a forty-five minute recording because I tried to steal something that I thought was perfectly safe. Let's talk to Whitechapel Charlie. Okay, there's some music playing in the background, so, um... Oh, man, this is a bitch. Whitechapel Charlie does not have any whiskey. Okay, um... Well, we're gonna have to go with Plan B then, because we definitely need some whiskey in order to make some great mantats, in order to bring down the prices on all the business we're about to do. That's a shame. Okay, it looks like we're renting a room first. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Okay, now what I did was I just uh exited the third rail and whenever you exit Good neighbor for any reason to either go in a building or even exit good neighbor and come back into good neighbor Hancock makes a speech up there and you can fast track that by simply going back into a building and going back out again and that will reset everybody back to their default location which is what I want can't believe it. all right now um, we can't make any whiskey so that's that's a no-go we have to go to Hotel Rexford and sleep 24 hours day again or are you actually going to go down and do some work being available to the customers is now that you do as soon as you come to hotel rexford just pick up clear. this copy it's of live and love Bingo. magazine here which also applies to companions permanently gain plus five percent xp while adventuring with a companion but it doesn't apply to me but it may apply to you either. maybe if you stop we're gonna have to wait till fred focus. stops what yakking with the Where's hotel the owner fun and cooking it if you ain't using it my mistake Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable yeah, I got prices. some other issues here. I'm over encumbered. And I'm about to waste the cycle buff, but I desperately Fucking need it so I can just get upstairs. Hey there. Before Claire, I want a room. Start, let's skip to the point. We have rooms. Yeah, yeah. Ten bucks. Here you go. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. Okay, now we're going to talk to Fred. And we're going to talk to Rufus. If you can't find Fred, just go downstairs. That's where he hangs out. In the chem lab here, okay? He may be sleeping right there, alright? So if you can't find Fred, that's where he's mo most likely to be. For now, like I said, we have to restock the vendor supply. And hopefully Whitechapel Charlie will have some whiskey. This is the first time this has ever happened. Sometimes they get two whiskey, sometimes they get three whiskey. 
this is the first time he's had zero whiskey. All right, so I don't want to waste... Um, Actually, I have no choice. I have to sleep 24 hours. This is the thing. This is going to waste some food and drink doing this, but I have no choice. So sleep 24 hours. 